Welcome, Alec Borashesko. I'm delighted to have you here in our Miss AI chat series. Delighted to be here too. Thanks, uh, Alec. You are an anthropologist, an author, a researcher, a speaker. You also a uh, professor at the Simon Fraser University and at the Royal Rhodes University in Victoria, BC. And uh, an anthropologist uh, always has a very special view, uh, is specifically on technology. Uh, so I was wondering, uh, what can you tell us today about what can artificial intelligence do, artificial intelligence do for anthropology or vice versa? Anyone you want yeah. to have? Well, uh, contrary to what people fear that uh, artificial intelligence will do for humans, it may create new jobs. <laughs> you know, the fear is that artificial intelligence will leave us without jobs. Well, it may create new jobs for anthropologists um, because, um, and it's more and more we see as, as artificial intelligence becomes pervasive, we see that we need more than just engineering. We need ethicists, we need anthropologists to understand the phenomena, to understand its impact, to understand the way it's implemented and the uh, intended and unintended consequences of in implementation of artificial intelligence. It may also be used as a tool in the anthropological research. Uh, I am not familiar with how it can be used yet. I know some anthropologists do use it. It also create, uh, creates new fields of investigation like the uh, like, for example, I have right here a book somewhere, uh, An Anthropology of Robots and AI, <laughs> for example, which yeah. is uh, me, written me. by Kathleen Richardson, and she spent a lot of time at MIT in the robotics, uh, right. looking at how people build robots, right? So it's in the entire field of investigation. Uh, I myself plan to to look at AI in a local context in in Hong Kong and and perhaps China where I will be moving uh, so there is a lot of that but what it also does possibly and this is a, a path that personally I like to pursue is to create uh, a new type of anthropology I call it AI anthropology or machine anthropology which means that the AI itself will develop a discourse about humanity. Uh, we develop the discourse about us, the humans, in opposition with nature. That what which had ma which makes us humans is that in which that which does not exist in nature. So we we created this kind of separation. It has good and bad things about it, but if and when uh, artificial intelligence will start to communicate more in between them and develop a discourse about humanity, they themselves may uh, create their own anthropology and a discourse about what humans are and a way of differentiating from humans. And that would be an artificial intelligence culture. Let's call it like that. It's highly speculative what I'm saying, but uh, but it's it's a possibility that I do not discard. So there may be machine anthropologists. Yeah, which I may or may not surpass no, I think us. Very much needed to have machine anthropologists. If we call it like that, or we call it different, but combine the disciplines is very important in order to make the best use of technology for humans. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Hugely interesting, and I'm looking forward to hearing more about your research in this area, Alec. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you for being with us today.